Okay, to add to our basic brushes that we're going to be using for just, you know, simple organic sculpting, let's go ahead and take this undo slider all the way back. We're going to start again with that poly mesh 3D cylinder. Make a sphere, drag it out, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. Let's go ahead and turn off radial symmetry. We're going to get keep activate symmetry on, but we'll turn off uh, radial. We'll just keep X, X turned on. So we're in X symmetry here. And of course, that's in your transform menu. So we'll hit undo again, and just really quickly, we're going to go back to our standard brush, B, S, T, and then once again, hold down Alt, we can kind of dig into our object, and then we can let go of Alt, we can make a little nose, then hold down Alt, Alt again, and we'll make a little smile face. Now let's say I want to like make a chin and a forehead and kind of manipulate this object in more of a push and pull grabbing way. I mean, you can go in here, and with your standard brush, if you want to make a chin, you can go in and sculpt the chin if you want to. Or you can hold down Alt and you can kind of build in cheekbones like that. And since we're already oriented in space with our floor turned on, we're Z forward and then Y up. We can go ahead and turn that off. But let's talk about the move brush. So I'm going to hit B, M, V, and that's going to be our move brush. And since we've already talked about transform and activating symmetry, again, if we just tap X, that's going to turn that symmetry on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and close this menu. We'll leave symmetry on. And I'm going to take our brush menu, grab that little white dot, and drag it over to this double-clicked divider section here. So now with move brush selected, what I can do is if I make my brush size bigger or smaller, and again, the hotkey for size is just tapping S. So just tap it once, and then there's your brush size here. So what I like to do with the move brush is make my brush size pretty big, and then I can grab larger chunks of my object here, and I can start moving them in and around. So if I want to make a chin, I can just grab this move brush, and I can kind of pull that forward a little bit. And then I can make my brush size smaller, and then I can pull out maybe a little bit of a cheekbone, and then his nose here. Maybe push this back in. If you want to push his nose way out, you can pull his nose way out like this. You can start coming up with some really interesting faces pretty quickly. Now a brush similar to the move brush, it's the snake hook. You can see I actually have it down here. If you want to know how to put stuff down here, skip forward to custom interface and hotkeys section. Uh, but for now I'm going to hit B, S, H for snake hook. And snake hook is similar to move in that you can take a section of your object and you can kind of pull away from the surface normal, but with snake hook you can actually pull and manipulate and drag off and it'll kind of follow the brush as well. There's also more variants of snake hooks, which we'll get to in a while. But you can use either the move or the snake hook or both of them, depending on what you want to do. And you can go ahead and just kind of move little pieces of your object around. Some people prefer snake cook over move. Uh, they have both have their uses as far as I'm concerned. So if I want to make, make a smile, I can pull the corners of this mouth up. Then we can switch back to our clay brush and then we can kind of start sculpting this in. We can puff out the cheeks a little bit here. We can hold down shift to smooth. And you can see very quickly, we can start getting some personality to our face. Maybe the clay brush to build up some brows and then standard brush here, like so. Actually, really quickly, one more thing I want to mention about the move brush is if I go to my move brush here and you go into the brush settings, and again, we have this brush menu docked, got that little white dot and just throw it over here. If you open up curve with the move brush selected, you can see there's an accu curve. I have a version of this brush here, and you're going to see if I turn accu curve off, the move brush is actually going to pull out to a nice rounded surface. If you turn accu curve on, it's going to pull out to a corner. This is actually useful on a hard surface modeling if you want to you know, be sculpting, but also like pulling out to hard edges here. You can use AccuCurve turned on to enable kind of, you know, pulling out to a point functionality. So if I want to, I can go through here and I can use my move brush. And just to kind of, I'm going to jump ahead just a little bit. This move brush here, you can go down to the brush auto masking, turn on topological, and now we can move this uh, nose a little bit more separately than the head. In fact, we'll change that range down to like 1.5. There we go. So now we can move this nose and move these chins independently of, it, of one another. Essentially, it's looking at your topology. <clears throat> and even if two objects are very close together, because they're topologically very separate, we're able to move them separately. So that's essentially what I'm doing, just moving these things out of the way.